Amen. We listen to the next testifier. Is Mr. Amen Gosinafa from Agula Group in Akure North. He had difficulty with breathing, dyspnea, and swollen leg, but he received the divine touch, and the Lord brought an end to his problem. Let's listen to him. Praise the Lord. By the grace of God, I am Brother Ame Gossin Alpha. I fellowship with Agula Group, Akura North Region, Ondo State, Nigeria. By the grace of God, I am saved. The, my testimony goes thus. It was in July 2028, I was in the farm, and it rained on me. After that, after that, I started having cough. I thought it's a mere cough. Within a short week, it developed to difficult in breathing. And it became serious on me. My two feet started swollen. And my chest started expanding. And my heart was beating as somebody that I've cried for long. I've been to very many hospitals. It came to a time, my wife told me to go and remain in the village. But I said, I believe God. I asked the doctor one day, because I went to the hospital, they took the x-ray, and they said I was having heart infection. And I started going to the hospital three times, sometimes every year. And it's in Kogi State, one of the missionary hospitals. I asked the doctor one day, I said, please, sir, when am I going to be free? He said, this heart infection, he said, it doesn't have cure. That the only solution is that as you continue taking the drugs. Then, it was last year, November edition, Wonders of the Cross from Calabar, that I attended, and I believe God. In our location there, I said, God will touch me. After the administration of the man of God, during the administration, he mentioned my name, he mentioned my problem, that those that are having a lungs problem, that God is going to touch them. And I believe God. I raised up my hand I, I, as he commanded. I raised up my, first, my right hand. I placed my left hand on my chest. And he prayed for me. After the final amen, I discovered that I have a relief. I used to take drugs every day. That night, I did not take drugs. Throughout that week, I didn't take the drugs. Throughout up to today, that is how the Lord has delivered me. Praise the Lord. We listen to the next testifier. The next testifier is Bukola Mercy from Futa. She had problem of chest pain, peptic ulcer disease, which resembles peptic ulcer disease, but the Lord has intervened and she has a testimony to share with us. Praise the Lord. My name is Bukola Mercy. I give glory to the name of the Lord, firstly for the salvation of my soul for his mercy over my life. Truly, the Lord has been merciful. In the year. It all started in the year 2019 when I was in school. I could remember vividly. Al almost every night, I would have to cry over the night because of the pains I feel on my chest. Some of my roommates can also bear the witness of how uh, grievous the pain was. So I give God all the glory because there was even a time I thought it was going to end up uh, it was going to terminate my life because it was so severe. But telling some people from their experiences and some that witnessed the disease before, they, they, they said it was peptic ulcer. So I give God all the glory for his healing intervention in my life. Even to the pains in my bones, the Lord healed everything and gave me total perfection in my healing. Glory and excellence to the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Last testifier for tonight. Don't forget the minister's conference tomorrow is starting 7 a.m. at the Civic Center. Matthias Glory from Akure North. She had problem of ulcer and other um, problems, but the Lord intervened and she has a testimony to share. 
the Lord has removed the fear and, um, and also. Let's hear our testimony. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Once again, my name is Matthias Glory. I'm here to testify the fulfillment of God's promise and the proclamation of our GS on our lives. Praise the Lord. During the impact program, June, January edition, so I was having USA. I don't know where the USA started. I could not remember. So I was, praying, I was praying that God, I want to see Jesus on my dream because he has been healing people on dreams. So I want to see him on my dream too. So the third day of the impact program, I saw him on my dream. So as I was about to enter the exit door of our location church there at Obat Edo, I, I saw one usher standing at the exit door. So he was challenging me that, why did I want to enter? I said, I want to go and meet Pastor Kumuyi. He said, no, that I should not go because during that time in, on, on, on my dream, he's in a location church there. So I said, I want to go and meet him. He said, no, that I should not go. He was challenging me. And when our GS now had us, he came out by himself. He said, why is he challenging me that he should allow me to enter? So as our GS now owed me, immediately I vomit something like a nail. As I vomit it, in fact, I was so happy. I said, God has delivered me. God has changed my life. And since then, things have been going well. I don't even know where the author disappeared. And in the Taraba program, when we were in the Taraba uh, G, uh, GCK, I was having a boil in my, uh, in my armpits. So I was praying that, ah, God, boys have been disappearing. People have been sharing all sorts of testimony. I want to share testimony on this boy. I want this boy to, to disappear. So it was like the fourth day or the fifth day of the program. The boy just disappeared. I don't even know how, how it disappeared. When I got home, I checked, I checked, and checked. I could, I could not find the boy again. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. It's not just your boy alone that will disappear. All the troubles in your life have disappeared in Jesus' name. Here we are going to draw the curtain for tonight. Don't forget the minister's conference is starting 7 a.m. tomorrow at the Civic Center. Let's rise up as we pray together. Let's bless the name of the Lord for the great and mighty things the Lord has done in our midst and in our lives. Let's worship him. For the triumphant power he has sent into our lives. Let's bless the name of the Lord for the clement weather that he has given unto us today. Let's thank God for the minister of God. The Lord has used mightily. And let's bless the name of the Lord because all the miracles he has done in our lives will be permanent. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Our Lord and our God in heaven, we thank you very much for the great and mighty things you have done in our midst. We return all the glory to you. And we're saying, Lord, that as we go back home to rest tonight, your people will see the reality of what you have done in their lives and they will come back to give testimonies tomorrow in Jesus' name. Amen. Renew the strength of everyone. And your minister you have used, you will renew his strength. You will fill it with your power that tomorrow again, he will release power from heaven, triumphant power upon every soul that will listen to him in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord, because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. Good night.
Thank you for coming, Internet. You know that we love you, but things have changed and we... And that madness will vanish your way right now. Spirit of epilepsy and spirit of madness, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. Incurable disease like cancer, ulcer, whatever, I send for the power into your life right now. Be healed. In Thank you, Pastor. Praise the Lord. On those stage, on those city, the sunshine stage. What are you? Praise the Lord. All our brothers and sisters online, in every stage in our country, every nation in Africa, and all the countries and nations beyond Africa, I welcome everyone tonight, and you will possess your possession. <laughs> Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you tonight because we know you are here with us. You know everyone. You know every need. And I pray your mighty touch of transforming power, triumphant power, will come upon every life tonight in Jesus' name. For joy everlasting in every mouth, in every heart, in every life. Bless everyone tonight in Jesus' name.